I'm Lisa. I'm Matt. This particular tiny house. We built it in three months. This is how we live our lives. Seeing if I could compact every aspect of how I live, that was really the thing that attracted me to building the tiny house. This tiny house is on the more expensive side, approximately 140,000. We have 22 and a half square metres on the ground floor and then 16 square metres in loft space. Being twice as high as it is wide is no easy feat. So we've managed to fit an entire kitchen, our fully integrated oven and microwave, full-size gas burner here as well. So living tiny, you need storage solutions. Stairs can often be a wasted space. We've got drawers under here, which serve as the pantry. And then we've also got hardy ones here. So in the bathroom, like the kitchen, we wanted a full-size bathroom. So up here, we've got our master bedroom, five skylights. We have a king-size bed, which fits in under bed storage as well. In order to fit a lot in a little, there's preparation involved. Taking note of what are you using day to day, what aren't you using. There's no walls to block out that noise. So you're definitely more considerate of each other. Cooperate more too. So we have a really big freestanding deck. We've got some pretty harsh environments here in the Blueys. So we've had to adapt to our surroundings quite a lot, hence the insulated roof and the slats to break up the sunset. Living in a smaller space like this, you definitely have lower bills. Even just reducing the size that you're heating and cooling. and This is just so economical. Mm. Tiny homes communities. Probably 90% of them are DIY. Their choices, predominantly minimalists. For work I run a tiny house renovation company. From a building point of view, they just all end up so different. Mm.